Pony says every five minutes around the world, a Christian is killed for his faith. From January 2016 to April 2020, Persecution Relief, an interdenominational organization dedicated to helping the church in India, reported 1,961 cases of hate crimes against Christians in the country. It is but a fraction of the total number of such incidents, according to Shibu Thomas, founder of the organization. Recently, I've been reading and watching Christians that were persecuted and it really breaks my heart. Truthfully speaking, life as a Christian isn't always easy. Christians were not promised a life without pain and suffering in this world. The footage that you saw were Christians persecuted because of their faith. And yeah, I'm very blessed because I grew up in the Philippines. We can worship God freely. In some other countries, they were not allowed to worship God. They were persecuted because of their faith. And death and sufferings are not the result of these people's sins. But instead, God wants us to understand that death will come to all of us. And that's why we need to live a life that focuses on the heavenly kingdom while we were on this world. The people of God will experience hardship and tears brought by Satan. However, these were allowed for us to be victorious. The Bible says that we should call unto God in times of trouble and He will rescue us. I know some of us here lost their loved ones and some were being persecuted because of their faith. Despite of the challenges that you are facing today, friends, don't lose hope. Jesus Christ will soon return and He will establish His kingdom. There will be no more suffering, no more tears, no more pain, no more sickness, and no more death. I'm so excited for that day. It will be a great joy seeing our loved ones who died for their faith. And most of all, we will see Jesus Christ our Lord. Friends, rest assured that this day will come because God's promises never fail.